Greetings, the internet. I am once again Eric Grooms, the film score fanatic. Uh, today I wanted to do a quick little review of The Irishman by Martin Scorsese. Um, I just went and saw it today, and uh, how do I how to start? Um, uh, well, I'm not going to make this review nearly as long as the film is, uh, because I'm not trying to torture my audience. Um, <laughs> that may be a little unfair, but I didn't find this movie was worthy of how long it is. Uh, if you didn't know, it's three and a half hours long. Uh, and in my personal opinion, I think it could have been an hour shorter. Uh, that's a lot of time, uh, an hour. <laughs> uh, it, it's, it, you know, there isn't like specific scenes that I felt like could have been cut. There was the way everything dragged on, it seemed, uh, and every little detail didn't need to be in the movie. Um, uh, one specific uh, detail, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to give away anything about the movie, but, um, the last at least half hour, it may have been 45 minutes. It felt like it was at least 45 minutes, uh, but it was probably just a half hour. I'm guessing, uh, was basically watching men grow old and die. Uh, and you know, I felt like I was right there with them the whole time. All the way, I was like, when is it over? Can I just be done now? Um, uh, the, the craft is there. Uh, you know, I will not, not take anything away from Martin Scorsese's abilities as a filmmaker. Um, but uh, this seems to be uh, kind of one of those situations where uh, somebody has earned so much credit as a filmmaker, as a, as a creator, uh, that they get to the point where they can kind of do whatever they want. Um, and people will say, okay, we'll give you the money and the time or whatever. Um, when they may, I feel like could have probably made a better product, uh, if somebody was there saying, no, we don't need all of this in here. Um, the acting is fine. Uh, I, that's not fair. The acting is more than fine. Uh, Robert De Niro is great. And Al Pacino is, is really great in his role. Um, albeit with the usual Al Pacino isms, um, <laughs> that, uh, that, you know, uh, when it's not a fictional character, when it is a historical person, uh, you do start to, I, at least for me, I was like, hmm, uh, I wonder if, uh, Jimmy Hoffa would have actually like yelled like that, but that's kind of unavoidable because Al Pacino is like his own character at this point. Um, but that's f forgivable, you know, like he is who he is. And his acting is still amazing. Joe Pesci is great. Um, uh, there was a, one casting choice that I didn't quite understand. Uh, the the main relationship that uh, the Irishman, uh, Robert De Niro's character, uh, struggles with throughout the film is that with his um, his daughter. Uh, what was her name? Betty, I want to say. Sorry. Um, when she's a kid, she looks like she's a little Italian girl. Um, and then as an adult, she's played by Anna Paquin, who is most notable for playing a pale uh, vampire girl. <laughs> um and I'm not saying that you have to have the same skin tone as an Italian person or whatever, but like facially, they didn't even look the same or similar at all. Uh, the the girl, the young girl, and the the grown up version. Um, again, these are all that's like a little nitpick, 
but it annoys somebody like me uh, if you're gonna cast uh, different ages I think they should look like they could be the same person um, at a bare minimum but the main thing uh, is that I thought the movie was way too overlong uh, unnecessarily um, it, it's well shot the scenes are structured in interesting ways but there's just too many little little bits too many little scenes that just didn't really add a lot to the story in my opinion um, this doesn't take away from anything that he's done in the past and it's not going to take away from anything he's going to do in the future in my opinion I'm still going to give him uh, he being Martin Scorsese I'm still going to give him the respect that he is due uh, but in my opinion this is a movie that I will see the one time in my life and I will probably never revisit this one um, for the main purpose that I uh, want to use three and a half hours for something else uh, so uh, maybe I'm a big dummy maybe I just don't get it uh, you know have at it yell at me whatever you want to do uh, maybe I'm a simpleton but I uh, I want a little more entertainment uh, from my uh, time in the theater than I was getting, I was uh, than I was given in this very long uh, uh, time in the theater. So, um, those are my thoughts. Uh, you can disagree all you want, uh, but please feel free to do so in the comments below. I would love to get any uh, feedback that I can. Um, have you seen it? Uh, what are your thoughts? Um, and are you going to go see it? And uh, whenever you do that, please come back and let me know how wrong I am. I understand how people can, can really love a film like this, but it, I just, for me, it, it was, it was too long. It was too, too much. Um, so uh, part of me wants to apologize for that, but I don't really care. That's the way I feel about it. So, um, so yeah, I would recommend that you go ahead and wait until this comes out on Netflix uh, and uh, and you can watch it on your own time and take all the pee breaks that you want and you know maybe watch 30 minutes and then fall asleep because that's what it's going to do to you. So uh, yeah, not, uh, not a theater recommendation for me. So uh, real quick on the music point. Uh, it, it, we've been there if you've seen Goodfellas and Casino and you know any other uh, Martin Scorsese mob movie uh, you've heard you've heard the music so uh, nothing new to report there so anyway uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed this uh, brief little jump into uh, a, a, a disappointing review for me um, I have been uh, the Film Score Fanatic. Please like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you next time.